Yeah, I'm gonna be showing here how to connect the BMS, the battery management system, to your battery pack. Ah, yeah, so many wires here. And then you're gonna go like, what do I do with this thing? So when you get a BMS, it comes up with this spaghetti thing here. And you're like, whoa, what's watch? I mean, there's no, like nothing to indicate anything here. And then you're just gonna see here. And like, oh yeah, there's some little numbers here. B minus, oh, oh what's happening, man? Oh, what are, what, where do I connect the other things here, right? So some BMS will come up like this. This is a very popular one. Okay, so and then you're gonna have so many wires like here, and like again, the spaghetti all there, and then like what's watch, man? So this one is actually uh, a temperature sensor that you're gonna glue to the cells. It's just gonna sense if the cells are getting too hot. And then you're gonna have the blue one is actually the discharge one, is the thick one. Okay, so this is the one that you're gonna be connecting to your motor, right? So this thin one here is actually the charging port. And then the black one here is actually connected to the negative on your battery pack. Bang! Right there. Okay? Some BMS, they might look uh, like exactly the same, but they're not. Check this one here, man. Uh, they look like they come from the same manufacturer, but no, man. Check this. Oh, this one they actually got three wires, just like this one. The negative, the discharge, and the char charging port, right? And then this one, it charges and discharges from the same port. And this one's connected to the minus in the battery pack, okay? So that one here, uh, the one that I use uh, is actually uh, this is the one that connects to the negative uh, of the pack right here, right? And this one you connect uh, is actually charge and discharge, okay? So you're using the same port. So my one is actually exactly like this one here, okay? Uh, which is actually really simple to wire, right? So cool, cool, cool. So that one's got actually really nice heat sink uh, for all the MOSFETs here, as you see, right? So you don't have all this aluminium thing on top. Um, just pay attention, uh, so the BMS, they have, some BMS, they have the wiring starting from, from here, B minus, B1, B2, B3, da -da. and some BMS, they're going to have the wiring starting from this side, B minus, da -da -da -da. most of the BMS, they actually cover all this information that you need to know here, okay, B plus, or B minus, and all these things, they cover this with a uh, black isolation, and this side is aluminium, so you can't see what you're doing, so you're going to have to uh, cut a little, uh, plastic here just to see what you're doing like that case here okay so you uh, well you don't want to risk to blow the whole thing just because uh you know just want to do a quick job no you do a proper job right so i'm going to be showing how to wire here to the pack it's actually uh really really simple so this is the b minus this is the negative of the pack and then it goes here this is the positive of the cell okay so this is b1 and then it goes here B2, and it goes here B3, so you the positive. And then B4, B5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the positive, this, this is the end. Okay, so you have a wire here as well. So this is the 36 volts pack, 10 cells. This is the last one, right? So, cool. Uh, and then, well, you notice here that like a... The, the wire is, is soldered here to the positive. It could be soldered to the negative because they're all connected all together. So it's, everything here is the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Okay, some people, they solder between the cells. But yeah, it's up to you to choose what you want to do. Okay, so looking from this angle here. So this is the one that connects to the negative. It goes here to my, B minus, right? And then you're going to find B1. B1 is actually this very first one here. Okay, so B1 is going to go connected here. Boom. And then B2, you're going to follow here, and it's going to go there. And then you're going to go B3, you're going to follow the wire, and then it's going to go here. Boom! And then you're going to go B4, yeah, B5, B6, B7, B8, B9, 10. Cool! So, just pay attention when you're running this thing here. Uh, just see if there's nothing that could potentially cut this wire and cause a short circuit. Maybe not a good idea to have this going over the cells here and have something rubbing. You might cause a short circuit if this uh, cuts the wire, something like that, okay? I always use silicone wires here to do all uh, the charge and discharge port. They're actually much better wires, okay? You might end up getting like uh, really, really hot as you discharge. You don't want anything melting, okay? If you, you don't project it very well. 
okay so always attached in a way that you're not going to be uh pulling uh, off the cell and cause any damage okay so this is actually attached to the to the bms so if something pulls here it is actually attached to the bms and the bms is quite strong attached to the pack okay so there is a uh like a paper i don't know if you can see here there's a paper layer here it's actually really thick paper it's full batteries uh so this thing is actually protecting the bms from short circuit uh if it's rubbing to the cell or something like that okay so the cell, the bms is actually glued to the pack so it's not moving not rubbing okay you're not gonna break any uh anything like that check out a really clean solder everywhere here don't use too much solder here okay don't use too much solder and do a really really quick job i always use uh freezer spray and i always set my soldering station really really high so it, it heats up really quick here so you don't spend much time in the cell okay so it just melts quickly just like that see beautiful man beautiful this pack is Mwah! mamma mia power